scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow! Look at all these gadgets! Gadgets? Sorry. Machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, man. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he's unable to tell us where to look for it. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Citanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh! Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. items here. That'll really 
you snazz up those snaps. That filter is very popular with the kids. Personally, I don't get it. Oh, no more humdrum photos for you. I'm not saying your face has flaws, but if it does, this will fix them. Ayanara Psychic! out here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right, a brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford, and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. Yep. So many brains. All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. We've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the Psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. Gives me the creeps. Weird. Been in there too long. I just want to squish that. Probably a good thing this brain is in a jar. Damaged. Hey, I think I know this one. Glad I never met this person. Why'd they even save this one? This one can't be real. You know, sometimes you see a brain and you just know you would have liked the person. Seen one brain, you've seen them all. I feel like this one came from a criminal. Housing. Check out the smug look on this one. So small. You call that a brain? I like this one. Good curves on this one. They're all starting to look the same to me. Cute. I have a good feeling about this brain. <laughs> Unfortunate. That one looks like mine. Woof. What went wrong here? They should really change that one's juice. This one seems nice. I have a feeling this person died in jail. Yikes! I think I see a dead fly. It is this one bubbling? I feel like this one came from a celebrity. Okay, this one's got attitude to spare. That's the second biggest brain I've ever seen. Kinda wanna poke this one. Wow, that is one weird looking brain. 
This one seems nice. What went wrong here? <laughs> I like this one. I kind of want to poke this one. Housey. I have a good feeling about this brain. Been in there too long. Cute. Seen one brain, you've seen them all. Good curves on this one. It's so small. Is this one bubbling? That one looks like mine. What's that smell? Check out the smug look on this one. They're all starting to look the same to me. I have a feeling this person died in jail. Woof. You see a brain and you just know you would have liked the person. Why'd they even save this one? You call that a brain? Glad I never met this person. I think I see a dead fly. Dick. Oh, okay. This one's got attitude to spare. I feel like this one came from a celebrity. This brain is in a jar. I feel like this one came from a criminal. This brain gives me the creeps. Yikes. I just want to squish that one. Weird. Wow. That is one weird looking brain. Unfortunate. Hey, I think I know this one. That's the second biggest brain I've ever seen. Damaged. This one's my favorite. They should really change that one's juice. Too big for Nick. Too small for Nick. Ouch. No thank you. the oblongata I'm looking for. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. That one looks a little soggy. Hmm, no. Too small for Nick. Ouch. No thank you. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins. I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, 
still not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh-huh. But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have brain will travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Spring Rock. I need to come in there and talk to you. Sorry, senior staff only. What? Really? Senior staff? He's senior staff. I think. Nick! TV? Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh. Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light. Dark. And every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room? And how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang! There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness, oneness, nothingness. 
Nothingness! Nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. <laughs>